Recording in progress. Hello there. This is your Zoo Tai Chi class, and this is August 29th, which is our 20th Zoom class. 20th. What? 20th class, yes. And right quick, I wanted to mention that uh, we do these videos for SOMA, School of Healing Martial Arts, in Long Beach, California. They have two facilities, one in Lawndale, one in Long Beach. And their phone number is 562-420-2112 or 562-408-1140. And you can check the facility or the company out healthcare facility out at www.soma.org and also check out Dr. Daniel Hoover and a lot of people's videos on YouTube as well as ours. Okay, uh, what we thought we would do this afternoon is have an abbreviated class for several reasons. Number one, uh, it's a very hot day. Number two, we're having uh, various festivities going on in the neighborhood, this is the neighborhood, which might interrupt or interfere with what you're hearing. So we decided what we would do is have you take a look at how we start our day off with some very soft stretches. Uh, you might do one or two, maybe five repetitions of each one of these things and see if it doesn't start your day off much better. Uh, yes. So yes, okay, we start the first one off. I'm going to take a, like an oblique point of view. We start off with something. We start off with something that uh, we call the curl. <laughs> Some people call it the snake. And it goes like this. Then, take your neck out and just curl your, your back bone. You can go very low, like she's doing, do that. Or if you can't do that, do it either. We'll do this five times. Stopping now, reach down as far as you can. If you can go as far as your knee, that's fine. If you can go as far as she has her hands on the ground, that's fine too. But the idea is to bend over to keep your legs straight as possible, but don't strain yourself. If you can only go to your knees again, only go to your knees. Okay, I'm going to touch my toe. When you come up. Bend your knees and pretend that you're lifting a 50 pound weight. Uh, we'll go into neck curls. We'll do it five times each way to the left, to the right. your shoulders backwards or you keep your hands close to your thighs. We're going to do this five times to the back, five times to the front. It's a very soft exercise and we do it to wake our bodies up in the morning. The next part of it is to into to, to splice your fingers together and rock from side to side like this. Try to pull your hands up as far as you can, but at the same time, don't stretch yourself. 
We go through this tent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now with your legs and shoulder lengths. With your, with your hands in the air. And your hips rotating. Two. Let's go together. Now, this is the windmill, and Zola does an excellent windmill. If you watch closely, you'll see exactly how it's done. Okay, I'm going to right hand to left, left hand to right. And when you do that, the opposite hand goes up straight. Okay. So, starting with the left. So just rewind the video and learn to do the exercise on your own. If anything hurts ever, stop. stop. Okay, following that, we're doing this little twisting. This is not the windmill. What is it? This is a twist. The twist that we do. So like, remember, uh, what is it? Yeah. Chuck Checker. Let's do this thing. <laughs> the twist. Yes. One, two. As you can see, what we're doing is involving different parts of your body, different different sections of your body, so that at the end of the day, you wind up having all of your body involved. Right. Oh, bye. we'll be right back. Just been giving some excellent advice. Look at the camera. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, now here on. we are. At I'm this come on this side. Oh, yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to rotate our hips mm -hmm. very gently, as though you had a magical hula hoop around your hips. Right? Can you imagine? Remember when you did the hula hoop? Remember when you did? Remember when you did the hula hoop? <laughs> you know, remember. <laughs> When you was a little bit kid, you did a hoo hoo. Yes, I borrowed someone's. <laughs> hmm. Only one person for a hula hoo. Uh -huh. <laughs> Only one person. Uh -huh. yes. We tried to get two people in it, but it wouldn't work, so yes. we had to go back to one person one per person. hula hoo. This is true. Okay, while you're doing this, it's fun to be having fun. Okay, now we're ending it up with a knee rotation. Place your knees together, put your hands on the side, and slowly rotate. Hold your knees, go from one side to the other, not very deeply. You can. Going to get I can. You can. Good. We're going to get into a deep breathe in in a few minutes, but right now, just this. And of course, if you have any knee issues, not this. Listen to your body. Listen to your body. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the only hard exercise we're going to do. And I'm not going to ask you to uh, practice a breathing pattern initially. We'll wait to do that. But the exercise itself goes like this. You're having your feet, shoulder length apart. Bring your arms up very slowly. Lean back a bit. Come down. Touch your toes if you can or your knees. Come down here. Again. Do that. Then do that. And come back up. Okay, so I'm doing a modified version. Okay. This this is called my Hapiro master called it the rocking chair. The rocking chair. Right. So if you wanted to practice a breathing pattern, 
with this, you would start up with breathe in, as you go down, exhale. As you come to a squat, inhale. As you move back, exhale. And then inhale. It's five simple movements, but it takes in all of your body. So if you would do it, I'd like to point out some points. She's first of all with, with the with the arms up, leaning back just a little bit, exercises the back. She's touching her toes. She does a squat. Come back up. And just the way you stop. So if you want to try to do that sometime. Okay, so it's down, squat, down again. Yes. And then up. And that, so you that. If you count five, one, two, two three, three, four, and five. five. If you happen to stumble a little bit and you're about to fall off your horse, rein it in and straighten yourself up. Okay. And again, I want to remind you that we're doing this in the neighborhood. So when you exercise, if you have kids or activities going on, you should be focusing on what you are doing now. Okay? And do not get distracted by other noises. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy this. Enjoy this. Okay. Well. Right. So, let us uh, go next to the cane. To the cane. We promised okay. the cane. Guys. Yes, we promised the cane. We're going to do it back with our backs to you. And then we're going to do it with our, with our face view. So you have an idea of how it goes. But someone suggested that we do it with our backs to you. So we're going to do that first. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, here's the cane. Have a darker colored cane on today. And so I guess we'll go from this direction. Okay. Um, I'm going to do that. Make sure you're using the cane, you have enough room that 
that you're not going to get Remember, the cane does not have eyes. The cane does not have eyes. Okay. Ready. Arms out. Step out left. In front of the label, label and out. Oh. Cat stance. Twist stance. Step to the right. Block. Go back and up. Grab right by the deck. Pull down. Kick. Hit. Circle around. Down to the right. Step right, left, hit. Come up. Pull shot. Circle around. Hit. Change feet. Kick. Block. And stand, and circle, and hit, circle to the right and come up, circle to the left, zip, on the right side, on the left side, watch it, leaving out of camera, Cody. <laughs> Just so long as you know. Rocking chair. Mm -hmm. Let's start off with. Are we coming to the end? We are coming to the end with okay. the modified. Okay. Okay, so the four, four breathing exercises. Uh, very important to breathe. Let's come to the riding horse stance. Bring your hands up to about shoulder level. Have your palms facing each other. Now, pretend that you have a piece of cloth that you try to tear apart. As you tear, breathe in, and as you come back, exhale. Begin. Rip. Breathe in. Pull your stomach in to your backbone. Breathe in. Your backbone is your Mm -hmm. 
make a noise if you want. You Next year you could be seventy three. Three. Yes, amen. Well, this year I'll be seventy three. Oh. In November. Yes, indeed. We'll have to give you a birthday party. Okay, like they're having a birthday party. Hey. And in these times when so many people are losing their lives, or so many people' health is going down, we should join in and be glad that people are able to celebrate, celebrate life, celebrate a birthday as they're doing next door. And Safely. Safely. Okay, so in these times, remember to wear your mask, remember social distancing, and remember to stay healthy. Check out SOMA or your doctor. If anything is hurting, don't wait. Don't wait. You do it as soon as you find out about it, you feel it, do it right away. And exercise. The answer prevention is worth the power to cure. Ah, well said from the age sage. <laughs> An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of gift. And we know people who should have followed that advice all the time. We wish you well. And yeah. until next time, we'll be doing it first of Sunday in September. So it please join us. It should us. be cooler. It should be. Hopefully it'll be cooler. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. So. Come join us. If you need to speak out, speak out and tell us what you'd like to do. Let us give us some feedback. If you like this video on YouTube, please subscribe. And with that, let's go eat. See you later.